Oh, franchise fever. I called it, even if it doesn't kind of deserve it, but uh, whatever. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions. If you think that that idea, that concept of former escape room survivors coming together and taking on a super maze has anything really to do with the story, it doesn't. If anything, this is a complete retread of the first film, which we already kind of knew that was what was going to happen. We were kind of just expecting different traps and whatnot. And if anything, the traps maybe are kind of more interesting. But I feel that while the first film had a lot of issues, including its ludicrous ending, as well as its incredibly forgettable just nature of it being in the industry in general, somehow that movie is far more compelling than this one is, and it's because it's a complete retread. Everything that happens in this movie is almost a retread, play by play nearly from the first movie. The only difference is the ending has multiple twists, more like five or six twists, pulled into the last 10 minutes, and you see them coming from like a mile away, and they're also really bad. I definitely compare this to the Saw series in terms of them just leaving you with a cliffhanger to kind of suck you into the next one. Almost like full on nail on the head with how this movie ends. This one just doesn't have anything to really compel you to want to think about it again, want to watch it again. I watched this two days ago and I had to motivate myself to do this review for you guys because I needed a review for this weekend and I just didn't want to talk about this movie because you all know what you're getting. You're getting a retread of what already happened. You have incredibly bland characters who should, who should be interesting. There are slight traits from these characters on how they won the previous games and you would think that they matter more than a gimmick. One gets a gimmick, and it's not even relevant to the story. It barely matters. They, they have almost as little, if not less, character and personality than any of the guys in the first movie did. And that's just how forgettable this is. You've got a lead who's just doing the same crap, who's got this incredibly irritating dude friend who follows her around from the characters from the writing it's laziest sin are the rooms interesting yeah i guess the problem is though they're still cementing themselves in this complete unbelievability that any of these things are real that there's this secret society that somehow has enough funds and financial stability to build all these secret death rooms for this occult online black market bullshit. The only way you could believe this is if Jeffrey Bezos, while building his giant penis rocket, also was making these death proof rooms underneath his whatever, like his warehouses and would throw his own Amazon warehouse workers in there for fun. That dark, dark thought is way more compelling to me than anything that this movie throws at you. You may be kind of like, huh, I wonder how they're gonna do this, but you don't have to worry about that because the characters will just continually keep saying shit out loud to you because they think you're stupid. And I feel that it's kind of like the writers went to an escape room a couple of times and thought, whoa, what if we turn these into like death traps and you know, killing machine things? Yeah. Have you been to one since? Nah. Sure, they have a little bit of creativity to them, but otherwise it's just a very boring and repetitive movie that you're just gonna completely forget. The friend who I went and saw it with, she went and saw the first one and she couldn't even remember seeing the first one. Which, speaking of which, I don't even remember what I rated the first one. Let's see what I did. So in the end, I am going to give Escape Room a two out of seven. Fuck me, if that's a two, then for sure, Escape Room Tournament of Champions gets a one out of seven. What an absolute waste of time. Definitely props though to the visual effects artists and to the kind of the set designers. Definitely give them a prop. They didn't get to have as much creativity as the first movie did, and I don't even know if they're going to get another one because the box office on this one was not that great. There seemed to be a lot more visual effects in this movie, so I don't really know if they're going to be able to do another one, which I'll probably watch because I'll have forgotten I'll watch the last two. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign.
But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.